The man, the man tried to shut me down. But you know what? <laughs> My terror unboxing is back on the air. So everyone's been like, Montero, what the hell, man? What happened to your channel? Long story short, YouTube hit me for a copyright issue. Uh, there was a complaint by HBO after we put together a Golovkin Monroe highlight video. You guys know, if you were on my previous channel, Tiffany and I, we'd attend fights ringside. I would go as a writer. She would go as a photographer. But sometimes we would do these fight highlight videos where she would kind of take little snippets of the fight itself, but also I would talk about the fight, I'd do a little intro, I might do an outro after the fight and maybe talk about some statistics and stuff like that. We'd show the ring walks, we'd show the crowd, we kind of like to show the whole atmosphere of the fight for you guys who couldn't be at the fight. Maybe you don't live in a city where there is live boxing, maybe you just can't afford it. I remember when I was younger and I was broke as hell, I couldn't afford to go to boxing matches. So it was a lot of fun for us to put together those fight highlights videos. We were ringside for Golovkin Monroe. We put a fight highlights video together, not just for Golovkin Monroe, but Gonzalez Sosa, but the Golovkin Monroe one went viral. Uh, the video count was in the thousands instantly that night that we put it up. And Monday morning when I got to work and pulled up my YouTube page, I usually do that in the morning and I check my video counts, I check my comments and reply to you guys, whatever. All of a sudden, I couldn't log in. And this is what I saw on the screen. Yeah, nice, right? There was absolutely no warning. There was no, hey, you got 48 hours to tell your subscribers. There was no, uh, wait. I couldn't log in. I couldn't get any information. I couldn't see my subscribers. I couldn't get a list an email or contact you guys, I couldn't do anything. I had to completely delete my email, my Google Plus account, everything because YouTube set up through Google and I had to completely redo my channel and that's what you're watching right now. What pisses me off the most about this, okay, is that I think it's very, very petty. It's also inconsistent. The petty part, I wasn't taking any money away from HBO. I don't know why they complained. I don't know if it was a specific part that we showed. We never showed any, anything more than just a few seconds of fight footage at a time. We wouldn't show entire rounds. We wouldn't show the whole fight. It'd be 10 seconds here, 10 seconds there. It'd be knockdowns, stuff like that. And Golovkin Monroe wasn't a pay-per-view fight, right? It, it was already, it had already been played on HBO. It was already on HBO demand. Anybody with an HBO subscription could get it. They already posted highlights, HBO did, on their channel. Highlights of the Golovkin Monroe fight. So I wasn't taking any money. If anything, I was helping promote HBO boxing by putting the video out there. So it's really, really petty, number one. Number two, it's inconsistent. Because you can go on YouTube and you can find fight highlight videos. Hell, you can find the whole damn fight of any fight out there. Just search for it. You'll find it. I know plenty of peers that posted Golovkin Monroe stuff and it's still up. I don't know why mine got targeted. Uh, and not only that, you know, I had posted fight highlight videos of plenty of fights. Not just HBO, but Showtime. I posted some of the PBC stuff. Nobody gave a damn. It was only HBO, and they went after the Golovkin Monroe fight. They also hit me on Rio Salvarado highlights of the rubber match because I was in Denver for that one, and uh, Matisse Provodnikov. For some reason, they hit only those three fight highlight videos, but none of the other ones I had posted, and I had posted plenty of them before. And again, I wouldn't show the entire fight. I would just do a quick little intro, show the crowd, show the ring walks. You guys know what we did. So it's really inconsistent. I don't know what their formula is. I'm hoping somebody out there, maybe one of you guys could explain to me why this happened. If there's a particular element of the fight highlight videos that we're not allowed to do, maybe some of you guys out there are lawyers or something and you can help out with this because I would like to continue to do the fight highlight videos if we have to make a tweak to them and maybe not show certain aspects of the broadcast. Cool, I can do that. We can make an adjustment. So help me out. 
Make some comments below. Let me know any information you guys have. I would greatly appreciate it. But in the meantime, back on the air with this new channel. Please subscribe. Please share this with your boxing friends. Uh, fellow peers in the boxing industry, if you guys could give me a plug on your channel, if we could do some kind of collaboration. All that work I put in, myself and Tiffany Lamb, put into the previous channel has been taken away from us by the man, but we're back. They can't silence us. So again, please subscribe. Thank you for your support. And hopefully this time we won't get shut down. Thank <music> you.